The Pittsburgh Steelers and Buffalo Bills will be facing two opponents in Monday's Super Wild Card Weekend Showdown, each other and the elements. The weather will undoubtedly play a factor in the game, but not as much as if it was played on Sunday. The game was postponed and moved to Monday. Which team will benefit more from the adverse weather conditions? We'll dig into that and more in our breakdown of Monday's game. But first, here's how you can check out the action in real time. Monday's weather probably won't change Pittsburgh's offensive plans very much. With Mason Rudolph under center, the Steelers have employed a lot of three tight end sets. Rudolph has largely been asked to complete short, safe passes, often on rollouts to his right. Rudolph occasionally throws deep, and one should expect that to continue on Monday. Really, the running game has been the Steelers' bread and butter since Week 9, when they rolled up 166 yards on the ground against the Titans after moving rookie Broderick Jones into the starting lineup at right tackle. Since that game, the Steelers have averaged 145. Two rushing yards per game. With their season on the line, the Steelers ran for 202 yards in Seattle in Week 17 and 155 in sloppy conditions a week ago in Baltimore. The main catalyst for Pittsburgh's success on the ground has been Najee Harris and Jalen Warren. The two are probably the second-best RB duo in the NFL behind only the Lions' David Montgomery and Jamer Gibbs. Harris and Warren complement each other well. Harris is more of a bell cow who got better as the season progressed. He finished the regular season with 122 and 112 yards in Pittsburgh's last two games. Warren averaged a team-high five. 3 yards per carry in addition to his 61 receptions. The Steelers' offense will face a Bills defense on Sunday that is kind of an enigma. The unit held the Chiefs to 17 points in Week 15 and held the Cowboys' top-ranked scoring offense to a putrid 10 points the next week. But the Bills followed those performances up with underwhelming games against backup quarterbacks Easton Stick and Bailey Zapp. Sacks and interceptions are Buffalo's defensive strengths. Veteran defensive end Leonard Floyd led the Bills by recording 10. Five of the team's 54 sacks. Cornerback Rasul Douglas picked off four of Buffalo's 18 interceptions during the regular season. Protecting Rudolph and limiting third and obvious passing situations will be critical for Pittsburgh. The Steelers should be able to do this given that the Bills were 28th in the NFL in average yards per carry allowed during the regular season. But if the Steelers beat themselves with pre-snap penalties and missed assignments, Rudolph will have his hands full in his first career playoff start. Deontay Johnson and George Pickens will have to make at least one big play downfield to keep Buffalo's defense honest. Like their defense, the Bills' offense is also puzzling, 